All right, guys. So here we are at the hydro track, and like you guys know, I went kaboom. So now I get to meet all these great people, and look who we got: Field Tech. Field Tech finally gets involved with jet skis. That's exciting because I have somebody else, but I want to switch over to Field Tech, and I have a lot of questions for them, especially now they have a harness for the 21s and many other jet skis, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So we are covering, I believe, a lot of years of harnesses and quick solutions to do book and place to this kind of racing or anything, actually. That so. is awesome because Fuel Tech is it's a really good uh, ECU and it's waterproof. Because before, everybody was a little sketchy because it wasn't waterproof and, you know, putting out ECU that's not waterproof in a jet ski, that's that about, it's a bad idea. But now it's completely waterproof and I can't wait to test it. Yeah, okay, so all the FT line, like you said, from the 450 to up to the 600, they are waterproof uh, to run not only a jet ski, maybe bikes or any kind of uh, off-road vehicle, for example, yes. also. It, can be run at well we know you that. guys do for all kind of stuff exactly but so now, now you are on a more extreme on the jet ski stuff yes on the water yeah exactly so but basically you're gonna have something available that you can play and plug to the factory harness and you can still have the factory gauge exactly so for example let's start with the yamaha for the fx or gp harness this will be stock ECU connector, yep. unplug the stock ECU, plug it in here, this goes up to the front if you want to put it uh, maybe on the little glow box that yep. has or maybe yep. replacing the OEM dash yep. to put our ECU there. With, yeah. Uh, in this case this is the FZ model, right, to, replay, to replace the dash and you have all the information there, access to the, all the ECU configuration, few maps, ignition, uh, two-step, any kind of timing control that you may everything use that you expect from field exactly yeah. all the configuration accessible uh, from the dash and we have another option that it's the same harness a short version to plug the same ECU to use it with the 550 light to replace just the stock ECU so this is way cheaper than this yeah because shorter harness the ECU yeah. itself and you can still have all the information through the yeah. USB cable to yeah. a laptop, so you can do all the tune. You, so you have a laptop. lot of options. A lot. You a have lot. the cheaper option and you have the more expensive. Exactly. Yeah. So we can That's cover nice. almost everything. Again, yeah. everything plug and play. We will provide also the starting map or the basic basic map, the base, base map, map yeah. to do that. Then we can move out to to my favorite part. To the C2 version harness. So again, also plug and play, cool. fuel pump relay. Now, also, uh, the other harness, sorry, I didn't say that, also has extra inputs and outputs yeah. so you can run external sensors, you can drive different kind of uh, solenoids, any kind, anything like that you want to do it there. Nitrous? Uh, whatever you want. <laughs> different turbos. Yeah. Hey. Right? hey. Yeah. Or anything that you want. Yeah. So, uh, this is a great idea. Because see do when you put a, a bigger fuel pump, you have to put an aftermarket. You relay. need to do it exactly. So and a lot of people get the eBay one. We have the sealed relay already is, to that's a good do the fuel pump, and yeah. again the same. Plug and play. I mean Look that's the ECU. Yeah. Good. You can put this in the glow box, replacing yeah. the dash or anywhere that you want. It's long enough to to do the, all that and we also have the solution for the three pin or the oldest Yamaha jet ski down uh, up to 16 yeah. so for the FZ and nice. same thing all the inputs all the outputs even this it's long enough to replace the OEM dash or and also the bracket to replace on the yeah. up to the 16 to replace yeah. the dash and the old touch screen uh, they are always used beside the yeah. 550 light obviously they are touchscreen you can access all the information uh, see if there is any problem with any sensor if you need to access a fuel map ignition map yeah you can do whatever you want i really got to experience the ecu on the close course uh, turbo ski with ddr 
and I love the option that you can just go ticket 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 ticket. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I and you have access to up to three different yeah. maps, so you can run one map to give the jet to your son maybe so it doesn't go too crazy yep. or to your wife or that's a good you idea so you can and you can have the crazy map that is for you oh that crazy so, friend oh yeah exactly so you can have up to three different options yeah. just by touching this you can change that or you can even put an external button you can do yeah anything that you want man this is really exciting i'm really excited i will try this ecu and you guys gonna see it on the channel oh. All right, guys. So now we're gonna we're gonna meet the master, the master brain behind Fuel Tech, and it's this guy here. This, we gotta pick his brain. He did an FCR. Shows your your, your, your GP. Also yeah. oh, GP. Jesus, I don't, I don't know my my uh, Yamahas. But this is really interesting. Yeah, like like I was, we were talking before. FuelTech is getting into the to the jet ski market, and first thing we need to learn and understand what we are trying to do, right? Yeah. For us, it's all new. We we are very experienced on race cars on many other applications, but yeah. on the jet ski world is different, and we know yeah. there's so much yeah. to learn. And the best best way to learn, we always think, is really race ourselves. Or, or put ourselves in the do it yourself on the exposure of learning that yeah. that thing so and we all i like always to have fast cars and we always like to, to go over records yeah. and then we thought okay let's let's build something that is a little different and let, let's, yeah and um, and we the first thing we taught us okay let's build a compound turbo uh, which is something very very known on the diesel industry yes. they they master that very well it yeah. fits very well the diesel application then we have some in drag racing and we've been studying that for many years but never i mean very few on on jet skis i tried to do some research but never really really successful people accomplish that yeah and that and the very very first thing we heard everything we hear is oh you broke you're going to break the yeah the shaft or the break. shaft on the supercharger that's exactly what is we are afraid at the same time right. we believe maybe uh, maybe handled differently because of the theory let's say, say. yes but anyway the, the idea is like making something different show the control capacity of the fuel tech because this we have a a big turbo with all the data that we need like with turbo speed back pressure we can we control electronically so you have electronic wastegate i believe it may be one of the first jet skis with electronic wastegate control uh, then we can we can monitor also all the temperatures like after the turbo after yeah. the supercharger and the intake manifold then we have all the fuel pressure oil pressure stuff and also the tunnel pressure and uh, EGTs to read the exhaust temperature. So we also running our injectors here. It's like a, a 320 pounds per hour injector. It's like a 3200 cc injector. Huh. Because nice. we wanted to even show the capacity of the yes. ECU to tune yep. idle and low, with really, really big injectors. So it's almost like a, a test proof for us. And uh, FuelTech USA is here in Georgia. And we're very fortunate. We have a, a lake 12 minutes from the shop. So yeah. it's a uh, super easy. Okay. That's a plus. Yeah. Let's There's go. no prep in the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, it's, it's good to learn. And, and for us, like everyone's super excited. Yeah. Because uh, one of the biggest challenge was get the ride, you know, the reverse to work on the Yamaha, the CAN bus. Uh, this was a cool when we figure how to do it. So the few tech can control the ride perfectly through CAN bus. No, no modifications on the ride, nothing. Also the dashboard on the newer one, the 19 and up, we can, we, it, it, it stays, it works perfectly. The RPM, the fuel level, the trim. We even add some stuff like we can control the trim through the fuel tech on these jet skis. So you wow. can do some kind of um, launch mode with using the trim however you want. Uh, so again, this is, we try to put the technology into the, the to our product and every update we do is all based on our personal experience. Yeah. And, uh, and one, the reason why we came here was really to meet guys like you, meet the best in the world that are here, that know so much. At the same time, if we put the brains together, we can yeah. listen, okay, what do you guys have ideas maybe you cannot do today? Yeah. Or what are the pains or what, what can we try? What can we help uh, addressing that? Yeah. And that's how we do over the last 20 years on FuelTech, been developing all, all the products, exactly talking to the tuners, talking to the racers, understanding their application, try to, to do something better. Yeah. And that's it. I told you guys he was a brain. 